What's going on YouTube? Can I can come at you with another little Kingdom Hearts um, Unchained uh, key, uh, I guess, guide, advice, tips uh, kind of thing. Alright, so, um, those of you that have been playing this game for a little while, now you probably noticed that some of your medals have slots, like, where's my example medal I'm going to use? I'm going to stitch my example medal, because this is the medal I talked about in my last episode. As you can see here, once you get to level 3, um, your medals unlock slots right here. Um, right here, right under the you know attack name, and um, in order to fill up those slots, you have to combine it with a metal of the same level. Now, what that does is that increases the overall power of your metal at a um, you know later on. And as an example, let's see. Okay, so you see this has uh, three slots filled in as 2.25 at minimum, and this one has 2.19 at minimum. Uh, so as you can see, um, if you get all five slots, uh, you know, filled up. At um, at a max level, which is level six, uh, these two stitches I have. So I haven't combined them because I wanted to uh, kind of make this video to, as an example about how to do this effectively. Um, anyway, I don't think I have anything. Do I have anything three star I can combine with? No, not at the moment. I don't have anything three star that I could show off. Just getting one slot. Uh, no, I have a three star right here. Yeah, you see, three stars have one slot. So starting at 3 star, you go up, um, you get slots until you get to level 6, and at that point you have 5 slots. Alright, so, as you can see right here, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to level up, and I am going to scroll down to my stitch, and look just like that. As you can see, I'll get one slot filled in, and if I do it like this, I get two slots filled in, right? Alright, so, uh, you know, that's all well and good. So, I'm going to combine this one right here. And now this one has a little bit higher, it has, you know, higher strength, defense, and um, damage. Well, I think that's just because it leveled up, which is probably why it has higher strength and defense. Okay. So now, this stitch right here has, um, has one slot filled in. Right? So, something you can do that actually makes this a lot more effective than leveling up each metal one by one and combining them is making use of the slots that you have filled in. As you saw before, since I only had one slot filled in, well, I had zero slots on both of those filled in. Now that one metal has, has a one slot filled in, right? So, if we go down here to our other stitch metal, like that, boom, you see both slots are a little trigger. Now that happens because this metal is essentially counted as two metals now because it, it, it's one metal on its own and it's been infused with another metal of the same kind and same level. So, um, you can effectively uh, raise your metal's power like this um, just by, you know, doing it this way. And doing it this way, you only need seven metals total, I believe. Is it six or seven? It's seven metals total. Yeah. Is what you would need. And uh, phone, shut up. We don't leave me alone. All right, so I do this, and now my three-star stitch that just had no slots filled in is now, um, you know, it has both slots filled in. All right, cool. Now the next thing I want to talk about is level six medals. Um, I don't think I'll actually be able to do this yet. Oh wait, no, I should probably shouldn't go over that because I'm not at, I'm not at quest two hundred, huh? So maybe I'll get the quest 200, then I'll cut back in here and go back more into detail with these slots. Because that, because if I do it now, I don't think it'll work the way I want it to. I don't know if it will work at all if I do it this way. Um, yeah, so I probably shouldn't do that yet. Alright, anyway, I will be back here momentarily once I get the quest 200. Alright guys, so I'm back a few hours later because I went, after I realized I wasn't at, uh... I wasn't at a high enough level in order to do this. I went to, I uh, took a nap, uh, streamed this for a little while, and yeah, anyway. So now you can see I have guilt active, um, which is why you're going to need seven medals for this, or seven of one kind of medal in order to do this. Um, it's a little earlier about, you know, how to do this effectively and stuff like that. So here you can see I have guilt. Um, I don't think it's that high for Stitch because these are really, really common metal. But in order to get this, you're going to need uh, six of seven of one kind of metal. You need the one, uh, you know, you need the main one, and then you're going to need the six other ones to go onto it because you're going to need to fill up the five slots and then the six slot which activates the guilt. Um, okay, so this one's plus four, and this one will be plus three. 
So I want to put that. I want to put the other one on this one. Or can I put? Oh wait, does it matter which way I do it? I don't think it matters when I do it because yeah, that's three, and that's four. And I haven't leveled up either one of these, so it definitely doesn't matter at this point. Uh, this one's higher level, so. I mean, it, it also shows you while you're doing it, so. That's a thing as well. And d doing this, uh, guys, won't really be hard at all, since I showed you in my previous uh, video about this. Um, about how to effectively grind out, like, EXP and stuff using Stitch, um, actually, as the example. Um, I don't, see, like, now, right now, I don't know if I really want to get rid of this, um, because I wanted to try doing something a little funky, but, um, hmm, should I try it? Yeah, because I'm not going to have enough room for a lot of things. And I, I could also grind out more stitches, so. Alright. I'm going to show the animation this time, because I don't know if it'll actually be different once you activate guilt or anything. Probably really low. Yeah, 15%. So we get 15, we get a plus 15% boost on guilt on Stitch because, like I said, it's a common metal. Um, got a lot of a lot of EXP. Sometimes I don't know why this happens, but you can actually get more EXP than you put in. Because I don't think I was going to jump to level 51 without, because it says great, not really good or anything like that. But yeah, I think that's all I have to combine right now. But I showed you in the first part. Uh, here's that Stitch. No, it's not the Stitch I used. Uh, this one. Yeah, because like I said, I'm working on a few different stitches so that um, once raid bosses get a little bit harder, I'll be able to pillage them with stuff like that. And I might work on some other lower class metals to get them, um, you know, guilted as well, like Waka. Um, since I don't have, well, I don't have too many other Rikus I can do that with. Anyway, that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to ramble on too much longer. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. I do enjoy reading all your comments. Be sure to share these videos around with your friends that enjoy Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper, no, uh, that enjoy Kingdom Hearts, um, as it really will help me along with leaving a like. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, link down below, including Discord where we can get together, talk about um, Unchained Key, a bunch of other things, and you'll know when I'm streaming this game, and, uh, you know, gym Pokemon, other things too. But I will see you guys next time. Later.